Hey folks. So you see a lot of videos on the internet where they talk about spatchcocking a chicken. And basically what that is is you cut the spine out and you crack it open so it lays flat. Well, this process which you don't see a lot of on the internet is called bullfrogging or or just frogging uh, a, a chicken. Um, it, it's a different kind of spatchcock, so to speak. Uh, the only real difference is is that you don't cut out the spine, and you you cut it in a different uh, in a different form of layout. Um, so it so it looks like a frog. Now, basically, what it is 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 you cut into this leg socket, leg skin on both sides. So so you you cut it back and and release this this uh, skin off of the off off of the the, the breastplate. And then you cut back a little bit and you flip it over and when you flip it over and you break the inside of the, the sternum, it'll lay flat and look like it look like a bullfrog. So basically what we do is you take your knife and we're gonna cut this skin away from the breast. The, the 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 this thigh pocket okay both sides I'm just gonna cut that skin off of that thigh pocket so what that does is it releases that pressure off of the breastplate then we're gonna come in and we're going to take our knife and we're going to cut back from the from here on both sides back mid mid breast right about here once we do that then we'll turn it over and 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 you'll see the uh you'll see what it looks like so we're going to cut this skin here both sides and we're going to come back into the cavity back to the end of the rib cage back 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 to right about you're gonna go right about to here sorry right about right about to here I don't know if you can't see that or not but right right about to back in here it's kind of hard to see but right to the edge of the breast or the rib cage right there okay now what you have is basically if you look at it and you see it you'll see an upside down frog front legs back legs and the body now when we flip this over what you have is a frog okay back legs little front legs hopper legs and the head of the frog, the body of the frog. Now we'll trim all this excess skin up and we'll tuck the legs under like that and we'll trim up this this skin a little bit so we have a better presentation and then what we're gonna do is see you got see what it looks like got the back legs and then 
little front legs, the head of the frog, and then the body of the frog. So then, once we get that all cut, and the skin trimmed up, and we get everything uh, um, trimmed nicely, we're going to add our seasoning. Now, obviously you can use your own seasoning, and, you know, your favorite rub or whatever. The one I'm using is the one that I made, that I developed, and I call it Mother Clucker. I know, it sounds weird, and it's funny, and if, you're not, if, you, if you say it too fast, it sounds like something else. So, with that being said, the rub is Mother Clucker. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, there's some cumin in it, um, cayenne, I forget what all else I put in there. Don't rub the top of your chicken. Don't put any oil on this. Chicken is wet enough. If you put oil on this before when you start smoking it, what's going to happen is that oil is going to make this skin rubbery. Oil blocks smoke. So leave it natural. Don't use any oil. Just use the natural moisture on the chicken. You're going to get... I'm going to separate this breast skin off of the breast. And I'm going to lift lift up the uh, leg pockets here. And get that seasoning in, in those leg pockets. And then just, you know, season it, season it everywhere possible. And then we'll get it out on... The, uh, the the Z grill. We're going to start it out in super smoke mode, which is default 160. We're going to run that in super smoke mode till the probe in this section here on the breast apex reaches 100 degrees. You don't want it to go any higher than 100. Once it hits 100 degrees. We're going to take the Zgrow app and we're going to jack up the temp to 375. Then we will let it ride at 375 until this probe hits 165, 170 uh, in, in, the, in the breast area. You don't want to go too higher than 170. You risk drying out the breast meat once you go higher thigh meat leg meat you can go one 175 180 but be careful with with that because the breast meat gets gets dried out so we'll season this top and bottom after we trim up you know this loose loose skin flaps and and whatnot and then we'll get it out on the grill and I'll I'll post updates to this uh, uh, on how it looks after it's done smoking and done cooking so stay tuned and I'll see you in probably an hour and a half or so and we'll go from there okay now we've got it all seasoned up I got the skin trimmed off of it and now I'm going to put a probe into this breast meat. I don't want to hit the bone. I'm going to go this way in the front and go that way. Okay? And now 
we're going to take this out to the smoker once the smoker stabilizes gotta wait for it to stabilize it's important and then once it stabilizes we'll let her smoke okay here's the bullfrog style chicken version of spatchcock they're all seasoned up trimmed up and you can see the way it's laying in there the way it's setting it looks like a frog I'm gonna run that on super smoke until this temp hits a hundred and then it'll go up to 375 I have the automation set on the phone app to do it automatically so we'll come back and when it's all done get another update okay so we hit 170 and now we're gonna pull this off and I'll give you a look at what it looks like there it is folks 170 now we'll pull this off and we'll let it sit for a couple minutes and we'll cut into it but that is that's perfection right there folks doesn't get any better than that so as you can hear that skin is crispy there is a trick to get your skin crispy and to get infused smoke flavor you don't have to run at at a high temp right off the bat if you want to get smoke run it low for till you get that 100 degree temp and then crank it up to 375 you'll get better smoke infusion and it'll stay juicy as you can see it's there's a ton of juice on the board I mean it's it's all in the crevice right there so it's not dry by any sense of the word so if that's what you were looking for just follow the video and it'll come out perfect every time thanks for watching